Alrighty, Sam, come meet the crew behind the body that has made me get this far in this run. 1600 k's, we're almost about to do it, but we're here at Recovery Lab, so let's hear from Phil. Firstly, Brooke, congratulations on getting to this point. You've done a huge amount of volume in your training, and hopefully this is just the point here. You can just charge through. So, firstly, me, uh, I'm involved in high performance at the Frio Dockers as the high performance manager. I'm pretty passionate about recovery and what it can do both mentally and physically. It's clearly had an effect on you and your preparation. Yeah, um, it's definitely made me realise the importance of recovery. Like, coming in here, first of all, I was just like, oh, recovery, whatever, we'll just sleep it off. And now I'm just like... Yeah, I mean, multiple layers. There's the inflammation point, which is obviously where the ice bars help. But for me, recovery starts with the central nervous system and using modalities like UCALM and even the sauna. But also the ice bars can be physical recovery, but I use it more for my mental recharge. There's just so many layers of recovery that you can use it for. 100%. And for me personally, coming in here, the biggest modalities that I have been every single week, three times, four times a week, sometimes as well, has been the recovery boot, new calm and the ice bar. And especially with the new calm and the ice baths, I've seen massive shifts. Can you explain a little bit more about new calm? Because whenever I do it, I butcher it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a like, difficult what? one. Yeah, it is a really difficult one because there's a lot of different sensory input. But basically, we take out the vision. We put a little metal disc sticker on your wrist that attaches to neurotransmitters in your skin. There's noise cancelling earphones on and those alpha beta waves bounce off the metal discs attached to neurotransmitters and send messages to your brain to help you deregulate and sometimes upregulate as well. You notice in the session that you sort of drop in and out of a conscious state and usually you'll come out pe feeling pretty revitalised. Yeah and someone like myself I could never meditate before and for me to get into that meditative state and actually physically feel me going in and out of the beta and theta wave it's insane to realise that you can come in here for 30 minutes and leave feeling fully recharged yeah. like you've just had another night's sleep. Yeah, oh, it's great for sleep restoration, but most athletes are pretty similar to you. They struggle to sit still and meditation is a bit of a foreign thing, which is really one of the reasons why I started and got into Recovery Lab was this point of difference of new calm. And I cannot sit still, but the new calm is almost a distraction for me to help me just calm my brain. Yeah, and I love that about this place because whenever you come in here, you can literally just leave everything at the door, switch off, yeah. and you're just in your own little world here where no one's like... Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. It's non-judgmental space and manager Sarah, who's not on camera, but one day. one day we'll get her on. She's terrific in creating that environment. I think all of the staff here, are, whenever I come in here, I feel so warm and welcomed. It's really cool that everyone knows what they're talking about. It's a great space. We're pretty proud of it. So what were your initial thoughts when you heard of 1600k run? I didn't really know what you were doing, to be honest. But <laughs> um, as I said before, like a lot of the time, the actual event itself isn't the challenge. It's the training leading up to it. And it's training your mind and training your body you obviously came up with a few injuries along the way and you're resilient enough both mentally and physically to get through them and that's all part of the journey so hopefully you won't run into any of those issues and it'll be nice smooth we sailing out there. yeah i remember meeting you firstly in the ice bath here and then i just i finished the ice bath jumped in a hot shower and you're like uh uh and ever since that moment as soon as i jump out of the ice bath i'm like no phil said no that's yeah. me <laughs> so yeah. it's like about whenever i jump out of the ice bath i'm just like no you've got to train your resilience too yeah that's right and that's there all all, uh, that's something for you to be proud of is that they're all the finer details that you need to pay attention to when doing something like you're crazily doing um, you've got to get everything right and that's, it's like the small one percenters that some people miss but the one percenters equals the hundred percent yeah absolutely hundred percent um so thoughts now about the 1600 just get after, it. Like, get, just, after yeah, get after it. Yeah, I'm so excited to watch you and see you at the end and just talking about maybe putting an ice bath right at the end there for you. Man, I'll be diving straight into that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. Maybe the water, I don't know, ice bath in the water. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Oceans right there. I honestly can't wait to get it and I'm just like, the hard yards is done, almost, yeah. and now it's just time to do it, so I'm so excited yeah. and I'm honestly so thankful that Recovery Lab has helped to get to this point. Like I said earlier, without the recovery component of it, I would not be as headstrong or as physically strong as what I am today. It's been an absolute pleasure and like I said, just get after it. I'm really excited to see it. And hopefully maybe after this, I'll be able to come kick footy with the girls. Yeah, yeah. Lock it in. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.